Now, very little is known about how great white sharks reproduce. However, one YouTuber and drone operator may have taken a video of something never seen before. It's thought this could be the youngest great white shark ever recorded. The observation has been published today in the Journal of Environmental Biology of Fishes. Our reporter in California, James Clayton, has more. This is Victoria. What she doesn't know is that she's swimming at a beach with four great white sharks in the water. We only know this because Carlos has been flying his drone here for the last few hours. He's out. Look at that thing. You can see it good. Carlos is a YouTuber and shark fanatic who is frankly amazing at finding sharks with his drone. It's dusk. Not a good time to be swimming near great white sharks. Should we just warn her now before she goes back in? It's likely that Victoria would have been fine swimming without our intervention. But when Carlos thinks it's a bad idea to go in the water, it's probably best to get out. Amazing. So from here, you have no idea there was a great white shark out there because it's almost impossible to see it. That's why drones are so important, because you have to be almost on top of it to actually see them. You're basically viewing the sharks through a magnifying glass that they don't know is watching them. One local marine biologist was with Carlos when they stumbled across something they'd never seen before. The female just was acting erratically. She dove, disappeared, and guess what came up from underneath? This little bitty white, almost albino looking white shark. So it's called a white shark. You know, that's the species, it's a white shark, but this shark was actually completely white in color. The fins, they're differently shaped, they're more rounded. I'm like, that's not, that's not an older white shark, that's a very young white shark. This could be a newborn. I'm like, oh my, oh my goodness, this could be a newborn. Other experts accept this could be a historic discovery, but that they need more evidence. The problem that I have as a scientist is what, it's what we call a sample size of one. And, and, and a lot of people ask, well, what would it take to convince you that, that this is a pumping area? And, and I would say I would need to see babies coming out of a female but what everyone can agree on is that drones are playing a huge role in our understanding of these animals. James Clayson, BBC News, California.